So guys, welcome back to the forest. This is now version 0.47. Now, after reading the patch notes, guys, I'm going to be dead honest. I didn't really see any significant changes, but after going through it a second and then a third time, there's subtle changes in there that are going to make a big difference to your game. So I'm hopefully going to show you guys that in this episode and future episodes, but I want to try and get a bunch done around the base because as you guys can see, we're gearing up to build. I really want to try and get this done today. But before we go into the update notes and what's changed, I want to take you guys around the base. Because I bet it's been a while since you guys have actually seen what's been going on in this place. I think I showed you guys the, um, the snack bars and the medicine cabinets that we set up just to fill this area out a little bit. But this, I know I didn't show you guys. And it was a comment from one of the previous videos. Somebody said that we should either cover the windows with something or use the deer skin as a kind of curtain. And I love that. Look at this. Even though it's not meant to be there, I don't know, maybe it should be a feature in the game, you know, being able to cover the windows. I know there's a lot of zombie games where you can do that technique, but maybe they need to add it to this. I just love the look of this, and I've actually done it to Timmy's room too. Just a little bit of privacy away, and if I want to sit here and wonder when we're ever going to see our son again, I can do that. So I'm going to take you guys onto the second level too. Because I'm not sure what's changed too much. I mean, for me, because I'm constantly building around the base, I don't really notice anything too much that's changed. But maybe you guys are going to see big changes that I've done a while back. I think these have changed too. Yeah, they did. The bone baskets are now squared off. So you can definitely see the differences now between the bone baskets and the arrow baskets. That's good. I wanted that for a while. It's actually look really cool too. And I'm guessing with the way those things are shaped, you can fit more of them in. Okay, what else has changed on this floor? I don't think too much has changed around this side. Got a couple more skins there. I need to tell you guys too, we actually did find more rabbits. And it wasn't in this update, it was actually before it. I don't know what went wrong with that episode, but there were just no rabbits and there was no deer. But after hunting literally for like two to three hours later, we did find a bunch more and we've continually tried to capture as many of them as possible. So you can see we've stockpiled all the rabbits. So we got four in this one, this one, this one and this one. So plenty of food and plenty of fur and we managed to get this done too. I remember when I threw these railings down on the old base, which was over that side of the map. But this just makes it pop. Look how cool that looks. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know what you think. Now, I have noticed one bug, guys, since this update. And it's very, very small, but I know people are going to get pissed about this. With the berry bushes. Once you pick all the berries off and you try and get rid of the bush, they're invincible. What kind of shit is this? Look at that. They just don't destroy. The way I've been doing it is just replant different bushes, and I think they despawn after time. I'm not 100% on that, but that's pretty much... That was a little bit of a lag spike there. That's pretty much you guys caught up with the base. Now I'm going to show you guys the Cannibal Crematorium, because a bunch has changed there. I think I spent like three hours on this thing yesterday, and it kind of goes hand in hand with the first thing that I want to tell you guys about the update. They've changed the way the customizable buildings work. I always get mixed up with that word, but... They've now given you a little bit more room to play around with, so you can see these rocks. I don't think, or at least I don't remember in the game, being able to make them that small. So you know you can really get like fine details with the builds around your base? But I made this. And I don't know, I just think it looks really cool. I just wanted to go for that kind of temple look, you know, because I kept talking about the way the Aztecs used to do stuff like this and with the skulls on the wall. I need to throw down the... Um, the leaf trap. But I don't know, I just think it looks really good. I'm going to light these too so you guys can see the full effect. If the lighter ever works. There we go. I'm trying to remember what to show you guys because there's been so much that's changed. In between the updates, when I do a lot of off-screen grinding, when I'm collecting stuff like rocks, the logs, the sticks, I tend to do little bits around the base, but you guys probably will miss them in the videos because I don't go over them. But look at this, look how cool that looks. 
It's so nice. Okay, so I'm going to read off a few of the things that are in this update just so you guys get an idea of where everything is now. Now, I'm going to test this in a second, but it does say enemies can now dodge away from player attacks immediately after being hit. And this kind of goes hand in hand with improved parry hit detection. And that does apply for multiplayer as well. I know a bunch of things that get updated are not necessarily in multiplayer yet, but a lot of the things that they're updating now do get added to multiplayer. So I don't know if you guys remember a couple episodes back when I used to show you guys the parry thing, when a cannibal jumps and if you time at the right time and block, it kind of knocks them back. Well, that should be registering now, which is all good news and I'm definitely gonna test that. Bell is somewhere over there. Bell is a complete mystery, guys. Some days he's here, some days he's not. You gotta give that guy some room sometimes because he does work with the cannibals. I think he killed like 10 of them before literally just jumped into the game and automatically killed 10 and he's not here watching me now so I'm gonna eat some of this meat I wanted to show you guys my stats too because I think I'm pretty sure I'm gonna give up on trying to lose weight I don't think it's working either something's wrong with my game because I've been living off the strictest berry diet and with the aloe too all the comments that you guys have been leaving, and it just doesn't seem to work. So let me show you guys what we're working with. 33% sanity right now, 20 strength, which I know a bunch of you guys have said that you've managed to get this up to like 22. So I'm going to have to work on that. 66% thirst, 4% hunger, tiredness, 1%. Look, this, the weight, I can't get this down. If anyone's got any drastic suggestions that I can use, let me know. But one thing has changed. My athleticism has gone up. And the only thing that I know that I've been doing different lately is just collecting a shitload of resources like logs, rocks, and sticks. That's pretty much the only thing that I've done different. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys that. Now, what I tend to do on an update episode is go through the book. So let's see. Nothing's changed with the fires. Nothing's changed with shelters. Food and water looks the same. I need to make more of these. I believe in the previous update there was a bug with the um, the turtle shells, so that's pretty much why we didn't build more then, but maybe it's fixed now, so I'll have to check that. So they did change this. So you can see on the storage tab, stick holders and the rock holders have changed. So they now look like what they're supposed to look like. I'm just trying to see. I wonder if they've changed this so it can stack like the log holders. I'll have to check that. I don't remember seeing it in the patch notes. I'm glancing across to my left screen too, guys, just to see if there's anything that I missed. But I, I scanned it pretty thoroughly before I started this episode. Okay, let's go across. Nothing changed there. Skin rack, armor rack. The bone basket. So we saw that a second ago. The weight's squared off now. Custom walls. I'm going to get into this in a future episode, guys, because there's a lot more building that we need to do. I'm planning on building a kind of dock with Bell, and we're kind of piecing things together right now. And the way the custom building's been changed, hopefully it's going to work for the better when we build that thing. So we're going to get into the depth of that in a later episode, not today. But if you guys don't know, they have changed the way custom building works, and you can basically fine-tune... I guess kind of certain angles and builds to the way you like them to be now with a lot more freedom. So I guess it's hard to explain without showing you guys, so I'll just show you guys in another episode. Custom stairs, hole cutter, I believe this thing's changed too. Not playing around with that too much though. Rock walls, which you guys have just seen from the, um, the Cannibal Crematorium. Just doing one last check of the survival book. I don't think anything else has changed, and I can hear Bell fighting the cannibals over there. Okay, so that's the next thing I want to show you guys. Why does that sound like it's behind me there? So if you guys didn't know, they changed a weapon attack. If you grab their modern axe now, you have a heavy axe attack. Bell looks like he's in a little bit of danger, guys. Let's help him out. I want to show you guys the parry technique too. Big bunch of greys here. These guys are the stronger ones. Here we go. That's it. Lock onto me. Don't run away. Come this way. See what I mean, guys? 
Bell doesn't mess around. Alright, let's try the heavy attack. Okay, we didn't hit with that. I'm going to see if I can get one when Bell stunned one of them. Is he dead? This is actually a pretty big group too. One of the smaller ones. Okay, I think they've scattered. Yeah, they've gone back to the base. I don't know if you guys just saw that then. If you hold the attack with the modern axe now, you get that. And although it's difficult to hit the cannibals, I believe Bell was trying it before. It still is a new cool addition. I don't think Bell sees that one. I want to see if I can parry you. Try and jump. Stop running away. Come here. Jump. Come on, you bitch. Jump. They did add a different kind of technique to the cannibals too. They're, they're going to be parrying shots. They're going to be avoiding hits. I think all in all, just making it more difficult to kill these things. Why are you running away? Okay, I'm not playing his game. See, as soon as I turn around, he's back. Jump. Bell, I'm not a madman. I'm just trying to see if I can show the... Um, show everyone the parry attack. You know, when you deflect them back. But he's just running around. He's not... He doesn't want to fight. That's, that's, um, fine. Just that, that was, um, the, the biggest group of cannibals I have seen in a very <laughs> long time. You handled it well, though, dude. Don't worry about it. He's getting closer, though. Come on, you bitch. Jump. Oh, here we go. All right, we're going to be here for hours, Bell. Same rule as always, let's not look for him, let's just walk away and he'll probably attack us when we're not looking. You gonna follow us? Yep, he's following us. So guys, at the very start of this episode, I told you guys that we were gearing up to build something. Now, I've read the comments from the previous videos and a bunch of you guys were talking about the walls, how this one is three high. And the one at the front is only two. We're going to work on that. We're definitely going to try and get the blueprints down today so we know to build it up in between the episodes. A bunch of you guys have said that three high makes it just that much more difficult for the cannibals to jump over. Whereas if it's too high, they can get across. And you guys have had that in your game. So I'm definitely going to work on that. But one of the things that I wanted to get done is kind of a tradition that we have when building bases. And that is a second escape. So you can see, I've put a wall there because a bunch of you guys said that they can get through this bit with the kind of land being elevated straight into the back of the base. So I'm going to block all this off. But you can see, I've thrown the uh, the platforms down, which I don't think or don't remember using in a base. And if you guys don't know how to do it, you just open the book, you go across to custom building, I want to say. Yeah, and platform. And then it will look like this as a blueprint, but if you put it against a wall or a cliff, turns into this so that's what we've thrown down and I think it's gonna look so sick now I need to tell you guys this is completely inspired by one of my friends and a twitch mod of my channel called that Razma I'll leave a link down in the description so you guys can check him out if you want to see his base as well on his streams it's so sick he's done a lot of work on his base and I recommend you go and check him out but we're gonna call this the Razma escape and you can see Bell slowly throwing down the logs I think the tree bridges are still reduced logs. Do you guys remember way back when we actually had to place individual logs on this thing to build it up? That took so long. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys where this thing's going to. And I think what we may do is extend this around. We could even go to that side of that land over there, to the snow biome, if we wanted to. I mean, I guess we could put like a, a structure in the middle. But I really want to build a dock. See, there's so many things that we need to build, guys. But that's kind of the full effect of what this is going to look like once it's built up. So I need to get to work with Bell. I need some food, too. I think I'm going to completely give up on the diet, guys, unless somebody gives me, like I said earlier on, a drastic way on dropping weight. At this point, I'm pretty sure I'm bugged. Because 
as far as everything that I know of the forest to lose weight, I've tried and it's just not working. Okay guys, so as you can see, we've now joined up the wall which went from this side all the way around to the back and there shouldn't be any access points where the cannibals can get to us. We may continue this wall all the way around. I don't know how it's going to look. We still need to play around with a few ideas. We've done the wall down this side too. We had to kind of experiment with the way we set the blueprints up because it would clip over the other side. This is kind of what we've ended up with. But it does the trick, and it's going to keep the cannibals out. But this is what we're most proud of. We got the tree bridge finished and the platform, or what we're calling the Rasmur Escape. So we've got the tree bridges all the way down this point. If we really want to, we can go out of here pretty stealthily as well. The cannibals are not ever going to know that we were here. Look how cool this looks. All the way down the side of the cliff face. And all the way down to this point. Now, we can jump from here, but we haven't decided whether or not we want to attach anything to this platform yet. So, again, we're going to play around with a few ideas, because I think that's going to go hand in hand, whether or not we're going to build over to this point here. I don't know, guys. I need suggestions from you. Would you want me to build the dock there, at this area? Or would you like me to build a kind of, I guess it would just be a huge dock over by the ocean? I'm not going to build it until I get comments from you guys, so let me know in the comments below. I think for now, we're going to head out, because for a while, myself and Belle have needed the pots. And we need them for two reasons. We need them for one, if we need an extra pot for tree sap, or if we need them for the water, because we need to start boiling water as well. It's not been raining as much. So I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, Belle, you just taking a seat up there, dude? You just... You just Having a bit of a relax. I was, I was tired from hauling ass all day. I just <laughs> wanted to uh, uh, catch my breath. <laughs> all right, dude. Let's head out. Any cannibals? A good way of getting skulls, guys. Not a lot of people actually know this. But if you destroy the effigies, they generally give one to two, maybe three skulls. Unless you find one of the bigger ones. So it's always a good idea to uh, destroy these things and just stock up where you can. Say that again, dude. Can't carry any more skulls. Uh, I knocked down one of the skull bag ones. 
It's so weird. Like, I can't see the skulls that you destroy. Like, I know I'm going to get a bunch from this one. I think I can only carry two. Maybe one more. Can you see these ones over here now? No, because I've just destroyed that effigy, so I'm not going to see that one. I'm going in, Bell. Come on, let's see if I can parry you back. This is something we've noticed too, guys. Like, when you approach a small group, they don't necessarily attack. I mean, the bigger greys generally do because they're more aggressive. But look. I think he just wants to be friends. I think he's trying to show off with his parkour skills. Alright guys, so it's about midday and we're pretty close to where we need to get to. I think Bell's just scouting ahead just to make sure there's no mutants in the tree line. I just wanted to show you guys this. I know a lot of people might not know about this. If you don't have a spear to catch the fish with, you can just use something like the axe, or even the katana. You've just got to get it right. See, it's a little bit fiddly. You won't necessarily get it every time. But once you get it, there you go. So we just collected fish using the axe. It's actually a really cool way, and not a lot of people know about that. But we've just been pushing through the trees... To see if we can play around with things from the update. So things like the parry, you know, knocking them back. I haven't been able to use this attack yet. I don't know if I like it, guys. I'm going to be honest. I like the introduction of something else with the weapons, but I don't know if I like that strong attack. Maybe if it was just like a, a quick strong attack with one arm, you know? Maybe it could be cool. But because it's so slow, the chances of you hitting anything are really slim. Okay, Bell's found the campsite. Set up this stick marker as well, just to make sure we don't lose it again. Just a couple of bits to stoke the fires with. Where's the pot gun? There we go. So you can imagine what these guys went through. They were just hanging out, made their own campsite, you know, reading stuff, maybe planning for what I think is the TV show or maybe a movie or something. And then this... Is all that's left of them. You gotta feel bad for him, guys. Alright, guys. You may recognize this area. This is pretty much just next to where our old base used to be. And we've decided that we're gonna check these smaller islands. It's something that I don't check too often. But I think we need to start doing it. And I know a bunch of you guys in the comments have said that I need to start checking them more often. Just in case there's more story clues out there that we haven't found yet. So I think that's what we're gonna do. And I wanted to try and get Bell some oysters too, because it's been a while since he's eaten them. And to be honest, we've not eaten them for a while too, so where's the rebreather? Alright dude, I don't know if you want to take the raft over to that small island. I'm going to put the rebreather on and see if I can find us some oysters. Please no sharks. Do you guys remember when we did this last? It was such a long time ago. I don't even know if the oysters are still here. Pretty sure this was the location. Just like, they were scattered like. There we go, there's one. I knew they were around here. Is there any more? I think it'd be cool if they added an animation as that you could open the oysters with, you know? Okay, we got another one. I think that's another one. Don't want to go too deep because that's where the sharks are. We all know what happened last time. There's another and another. I think that's enough. Okay, Bell, I got you a surprise. You ready? Enjoy. I think I'm going to have some too. And that is why you are the chef. 
I, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I'm the chef, dude, unless you want to uh, die a slow and painful death. Have you seen my diet right now? Every time I cook something on a fire and you put something on, you insist that you're the chef and you're gonna come after me if I keep trying to steal your place. Lies and slander, Bell. Lies and slander. Okay, let's head out to the island. I'm sick of these lies. Okay, if you guys are wondering what that is over to the left, that's actually where I think Bell and the rest of the survivors tried to hold up. We haven't been there for a while. This island's actually pretty far out too. Never actually realized how far out this smaller island was, Bell. We also noticed the um, difference in speed with the raft. It's painfully slow now. Is that just because it's two people on it, or is that just a nerf? Well, no, it was the same when it was just me. Bit of a shame. It was kind of cool to have a quick raft to get to places, but I guess this is sticking to realism. Look at that sunset, guys. How cool is that? Do you actually have enough supplies to set up a shelter here, Bell? Because it's getting dark. This island's actually Just really about, yeah. far out. Alright, we may as well make it a camping trip then, dude. We can spend the night here. A bunch of people have actually said, why wouldn't we leave the island on this thing? I think you've got to be pretty crazy, guys, to leave what you would consider as your home on something like this. You're taking a huge risk. I've got to be honest, I actually don't remember this island being this far out. I have checked it before in the past. As the sun's about to go down, we're just going to try and make sure we can get this raft beached. Don't want to be losing this. That's going to be a very far swim. You going to stay there? Okay. Let's grab this. Light this up. Take the rebreather off. Alright, let's have a look around. I'm sorry, little guy. You're going to be food. So guys, we spent the night on this island, and as far as we know, there are no clues on this one. We may need to check the other ones, but as far as we know, there's nothing to be found on this specific one. But I did notice this. It's no wonder that no one's been able to find us. This whole island is completely surrounded by fog. I mean, just think about it, guys. If you were out there, looking in this direction, Chances are, you would completely miss this place. So guys, we made it back to base. Now, as far as we can tell, none of the terrain has changed, which is one of the things I always look out for with the updates. Now, one of the things we did test while we were out there is the attack from this modern axe. And as far as we know, it's best being used on the smaller cannibals, because if you try it on one of those bigger greys, it's probably going to mean that you're going to take a lot of damage from those guys because the way the new system works, if you hit the cannibals, they also can parry your attacks too or they can dodge it in a way where they get a couple of licks in. So you've got to be careful with that. But I want to know from you guys what you think of stuff like this. The new changes to the way you can build stuff. I'm going to go into more detail with this when you guys let me know if you want the new dock down there connecting to this platform system or over near the ocean. I think I'm going to test it a little bit more there with Bell. And I also want to know what you guys think about the curtains in these rooms. Whoever did leave me that suggestion in the comments, thank you so much. I really love stuff like that. I think this looks so sick. So I think we're going to end the episode here, guys. We're going to ponder when we're going to see our son again. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you all in the next one.
What are you whistling away at? So I didn't realize I'd push the uh, <laughs> button. It was beautiful, Belle. Thank you.